<sighs> you know what's a massive pain in the ass? Being extroverted, but also having autism. Right? It's... Because autism, it's... You have difficulties with socializing and stuff, right? But at the same time... Being extroverted is like you want to be around people. Which... It's like, yeah, cool. Wanting to be around people and also uh, not at the same time. Which is great. Forgive me, yeah, this is kind of a weird odd thing. And to be honest, you have no idea who I am. Yeah, my name's Dominic, by the way. Or Danger Angelus. Um, but... As I'm doing my not train stuff, which is a fairly typical autism pastime, I guess. I don't know, that's probably just an assumption, or maybe that's just me, I don't know. But, um, <sighs> yeah, it's really, really difficult, because it's like, you know, going to parties, like, I want to be, yeah, like, I want to be with people and stuff, but at the same time, the autism, although it's really only just, like, new people, that is the problem. Right? It's like, you go to a party, and you only know, like, one or two people at the party, and then you're like, oh, well, what do I do? I just sit in the corner for my whole life, <laughs> being like, they don't know I do model trains. <laughs> I <sighs> don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing here. No, it's a little different. But, uh, I can move forwards and see if it's Mustang in our way. Um, also, yeah, I have a lot of junk. Sorry, not junk, projects in the way of what I'm doing just now. Um, So, yeah, it's a bit, uh, also it helps if you, like, know that you are autistic or what have you, and also it helps knowing that you're introverted or extroverted, because I didn't know this about myself until, like, fairly recently when I went on a Tinder date, when I went on, like, the one and only Tinder date I've been in with a girl after one and only date, it was just, like, meeting her for, like, one hour while I had time to kill, or I went pick up someone from the airport, but... It was, it was enough, and I sort of realised, because, like, I, th I feel like she was maybe introverted, I don't know, because she seemed kind of quiet. Not very conversationally peppy. And sort of, like, after that, I sort of realised, okay, I kind of need someone like that, because I am... Uh, what's the word? Socially peppy, even though I didn't think I was, which is being an, it, being an extrovert. It's like, okay, cool, that's a good thing to know about myself. And, um, yeah, so it's con it's conflicting, isn't it, really? It's like, yeah, being extroverted, but then also, like, a lot of the social, uh, what's the word? social difficulties of having autism. Doesn't really fly very well, does it? No, which is annoying. <sighs> well, so if you don't mind me doing what I'm doing, is I have a Thompson tank engine model. This is the old body shell that I have, which I've made some adjustments to, including putting weights and stuff. But I also got cut, had cut out a bit of plastic from inside the shell, which I have to do on this, which is a new completely new body shell that I bought ages ago and I meant to do this a lot earlier um, because it's been sitting in the box for maybe two years now I think something thereabouts so I figured and this one is like missing the lining and stuff as well so I figured I could put this one on because it has lighting on it again just to make Thomas look nice again um like I said um no, I don't do this often. I know it's like I don't do this. It's like fucking a bigger. 
Let me thoughts and also what I do as a hobby on YouTube because I also have a previous video of that uh, where I did a video about how to fit like these chain link coupling things which you can have a look at later if you're so not. Um, but uh, that said, yeah, so yeah, it's, it is it is difficult, isn't it? Really. Uh, the the main thing is like figuring out who you actually are, right? It's like you got to do that first thing, otherwise you kind of trawl through life, and I kind of have done for like most of my what twenty four years now. Kind of empty, to be honest. Being like, ah, oh, I don't know what I'm doing with myself or who I really am. Oh my god, you know, it's like, have you? Oh my god, because like, I went for a period of like ten years. It was it was mainly because of high school that I was just like, I had no idea who I was, and it was part like, and it's part in with the mold, probably with the mold trains it's like that, because like that had like literally burnt out on me as a hobby because Thomas and the other couple molds that I had from back then bloody stuffed up and like stopped working and then it's like oh I, I completely forgot about model trains somehow it's possible to do that for 10 years goodness me oh, which is like how do, how do you do it how do you do that how do you how do you forget about something that you love like something must be really massively wrong if you actually do that for goodness sake like if you somehow forget for like a solid number of years a passion that you used to have. Like, how the hell has that happened? Oh my gosh. And it's like, yeah, high, high school was empty. And I mean, I hope most of you know, but like, high school doesn't mean anything. High school was trash. I mean, uh, well, the education part of it all, for me, was trash because I hated English, which maybe that's an autism. I think that might be an autism thing as well because it's like, English stupid how bloody open-ended it is i hated that so much whereas like maths and science and physics and stuff yeah that's all good <laughs> because there's only one right answer and if you don't get it you're wrong <laughs> <sighs> oh, my get and i know did work there uh, would work as well which is like yeah that was like fine craftsmanship stuff which is what i like to do in case you hadn't noticed um Oh my gosh, but yeah, so like, English was a nightmare for me. I would suspect it was also a nightmare for other autistic people as well. Or other people on the spectrum, what have you. I mean, I'm not just call it autism because that's what it is, I guess. Not that I'm an, ex not that I'm an expert, I just have it, and I'm high-functioning autistic, so not quite as much, perhaps. Ugh. Could I get cancelled for that? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Ah, uh, let's, let's... I don't know. It'd be nice not to get cancelled after, like, two videos on YouTube. <laughs> oh, but the, the, seriously, though, so yeah. Oh, well. oh but that's it. But the main thing is, like, okay, good to be talking about it. Right? It's like, you got to be... Same as so many other things, right? It's like... You gotta just talk about stuff and for it, things to actually happen. There's so much stuff that like, you know, as we talk about as human beings, which it's weird because human beings are known for talking. It's like <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's like sorry, just like emptying out a little shard of plastic that I'm like in the body shell coming out. I'm there from where I'm carving out because oh, because this bit of metal and several others have to be able to slot into there and that those bits of plastic inside there are in the way of that which i would already done for this body shell um what was i saying yeah so yeah so you got you got to know who you are right sometimes that's really tricky i mean yeah like i said it's like i didn't know who i was for so Excuse the language, I will beat that out later, if you will do that for me later, future me, please. Um, yeah, you got to figure out who you are, because that's, I mean, because that's literally just who you are, right? It's like, oh my god, it's like, otherwise you're just living as a robot, or just like an empty shell of a human being, and again, like, yeah, I'm 24, it's like, I barely knew that until a couple of years ago when I started going to psychology sessions 
for anxiety, but then the lovely person who was doing it for me, she was like, oh, you exhibit quite a few traits of autism. Do you have it? And it's like, I, the only thing I'd really known was that, like, I think I had, it had been, mum had mentioned it, that I was autistic. But, like, that's it. I didn't really know anything about it. I didn't really know how much, to what extent that I had it. Yeah, a little bit more. And it's, yeah, and it's like, and again, and yeah, that's like a really important, massively important thing to figure out. Oh, you can't see because of my head. No, so, try and do a bit better. But, um, ah, uh, yeah, like, yeah, it's like I went through so much of my life. And it's, and it, and you're suddenly learning. Oh, I ha I am high functioning autistic. That suddenly explains a lot of things about the way that I am. Uh, what's a what's a good example? Like um, oh, actually, I'm not sure if this is something. To do with, something I do is that like if someone like if I'm sort of like out in the middle of nowhere and like I'm not expecting anyone to like stumble upon me or not or I'm not expecting to like meet someone that day but somebody like comes along they see me oh and that's another thing it's like I don't look for like faces and stuff it's like like it's, a, it's like if if I, like if I'm in out somewhere and someone and like I happen to stumble upon someone they see me for they see me I never I don't see them first which is like it's it's not me but it's like I don't look at people to be honest I look down to the ground quite a bit um but and yeah, so if they if they see me, they'll say my name. But that first time that they say it, that I won't actually like register it. I'll, like I suppose in my mind, it's like I think, oh, it's a noise. It's like I just suddenly think, oh, it's just some random noise. But then they say my name again, and then it's like, oh, wait, they actually want me, which is. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, that's, uh, actually I'm not sure if that's an exact autism thing, but that's something that I do, which could be that. It's that, yeah, that I sort of block out, yeah, that I sort of block out, like, hearing my own name until, like, the second time that I hear it. It's not to me, not to mean that I'm, like, that I, like, hate myself in any way, but it's just, I it's just the way I am. It's just the way I am. Like, I think, personally, <laughs> There we go, that's done. Yeah, me personally, I'm a fairly happy, but I feel like I'm a pretty happy person, I think, yeah. Nothing to complain about, I'd say. Which, well, is, I suppose, good compared to some unfortunate people, which, that's a whole separate issue, which I'm not going to talk about now. Um, but, but, yeah, it's like, yeah, so socially, I'm a bit funny, I'll say. I'm not funny. Um, then again, uh, then again, there's always talk about like what's well being like me being autistic and well, other people, people being autistic, and then people who are neurotypical, neurotypical, that's the word, which is basically the standard, I guess, of. Actually, no, that's the wrong word, isn't it? No, because no, because the way that my no, the, the way that my psychologist, the way that she described it is that it's it's not bad, it's not wrong, it's just different. It's just different. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with being different. There's nothing wrong with being different, right? Nothing wrong with being different. It's just that's who you are, right? And you can't change that. No, you can't change that because how do you, how do you how do you how do you fix your brain? How do you change your brain? Like you can't do that. It's like last little bit, but yeah, no, you can't, you can't change yourself, well, at least not in your brain, at least, e not without, e sketchy, and also very, very severe, I probably should not say what I'm thinking, no, it's not, that's like, well, let's not go that, um, <laughs> let's try to have happy thoughts with me model trains, or at least, not awful thoughts with me model trains, I think, um, 
I was like, yeah, I'll probably see, like, I have this still wrapped up in a little bit of paper just that, like, while I'm holding it just to protect it because I don't want the lining to come off because, it, because the, yeah, the lining on these Bachman models is a bit fragile, a smidgen fragile. So, yeah, so I'd rather, yeah, so I'd rather leave this on just as a protective thing while I'm handling all of this to do this cutout work, which might be done. Um, what was I saying? Is that it? Oh, sure. Um, but yeah. Oh, so that's another thought. Thomas the Tank Engine, I believe. She said that. And trains, and trains in general, yeah, that's like, well, I suppose specific Thomas was like. Because, like, I love, like, I grew up on, like, the original model series, like, like the like really old model series back when it was well you know oh yes you know the CGI series was really good. It had the potential to be more realistic, which in some places it did. You know, what it did it become. Um but no like I grew up on the classic model series and my favourite is like just the first one, just like following pretty much directly the original stories and like you know the simplicity the bright cut like something about that is just like really like beautiful to me. I mean, of course, like, the later model series only, like, built up on that, but, like, the first series is, like, really nice for me, isn't it? It's just, I don't know, really, like, nice and simple, which is lovely. That is what I like. Um, okay, that might be done, I think. Um, what am I saying now? Um, let's clip this out a bit. Um, but, yeah, like... Thomas Tank Engine is, like, very good because of, like, with the models, you have just, like, you know, just, like, direct, you know, straight facial expressions, which are very, very clear as to what emotion they are, be it happy, sad, angry, or what have you. Um, but you know what? Yeah, it's, like, I don't know, yeah, so it's, so, I mean, yeah, because, like, auto, like, it's, like, Part of autism is that it's insanely hard to like read other people, like uh, read other people's emotions, read social situations, and it's like it's not good. It's like you know, and some of you go through a lot of things, and it's like I don't know, maybe you accidentally say something, but actually that's that's the point. It's like I occasionally can be kind of blunt as hell, even though it's absolutely deserved. To whoever the person was that received that bluntness, but oh well, the people don't terribly like that, unfortunately, which is a bit annoying because that's kind of all I know. Um, so we're just changing blades with me, scalpel. Um, also, something I might maybe just do, I might just double check that this is actually recording my voice and not, not recording my voice. Um, just to check, hang on. Sorry, I had to double check my microphone and apologies for the first however long of the video because the microphone has like a funny noise to it, which is slightly not good. Mm, rabbit, mm, carrots, mm, bugs bunny. Mm. <laughs> I grew up on a lot of Looney Tunes and I have a slightly funny, sorry, slightly chaotic sense of humor. Because of that. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, where was I not long ago? Talking. I know what the subject it was. But, um, yeah, not being able to read social cues and things. Which is, yeah, I've, I've not been good at that. Which is difficult. I have a book for that. Um, it's quite good. I. If I remember that later, I will actually go and grab that, and I'll oh, I know, chuck it in the description, as the YouTube crowd does. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not in the YouTube crowd. It's like, yeah, you're cool. You're cool. <sighs> but yeah, so, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, reading social cues is not good. Um, another thing is, yes, yeah, so like I said before, it's like we're really, really awful at non-technical type 
tasks, oh, non, yeah, non-technical tasks. Basically anything, yeah, like basically anything that has like a vape, that has like multiple different interpretations is very difficult. Um, and one thing I, oh, so yeah, one thing I definitely know I did is I like threw out all of school. Actually, maybe not all of the school. I think it was only in high school through that like very, like that empty, sorry, excuse my language again, that empty period that I had. It was, um, uh, what is it? Was oh, so I would get like a thing to do, and then I would not actually follow the instructions, and I would end up doing something that was completely different to what everyone else had. So, uh, what did I? Oh, what well, one thing that I remember quite well was the project where we had to like make. Well, actually, no. The point of it was we were supposed to find a coat of arms for a family. Like, a last name, family name. But what I did instead was I took that to mean, oh, I'm going to make my own coat of arms, which had Thomas and Lego, and also James May on it, because James May, what a legend. Oh my gosh, this is like 15 years ago, I think. Oh, no, no, sorry, not 15 years ago. Um... 10 years ago, thereabouts, yeah. James is still a legend, I mean, not that I, nothing happens with him. It's luckily, which is good. Um, um, yeah, so I took that to mean make my own covans, which turned out to be kind of crappy, instead of actually finding my, my family name's actual coat of arms. Uh, which is such a, you know, if we're just thinking about it, that's such a Western, God, that is such a, like, Western culture thing to do, isn't it? Oh, find your coat of arms. I mean, then again, ah, oh, then again, I'm sure, like, for other cultures, you do have, like, a similar-ish sort of a thing. Don't know what that bit, I mean, I won't try to think of examples, because that might be consumed as racist, and like I said before, I don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> Not get cancelled. Uh, let's take, let's not get hashtag cancelled harder than Simon Whistler will be in <laughs> in f 15 years. <laughs> Love you, Simon. <laughs> Love you, Simon. You fact boy. Um, sorry, YouTube name drops. Cool. Why am I doing this? <laughs> uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Hang on a minute, that's... I don't know, I suppose I'll come back to that. But, um, yeah. So what is it's very... Ah, you know, like, yeah, like autism, it's very... What time is it? 120. Less cool than 420. Um... In here, come on. But, um, what am I saying? Um, uh, yeah, my brain doesn't work at the My brain doesn't work all the time, which is convenient. And it's like, cool. There ain't no worky anymore. That's really useful, isn't it? Not like Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Um, I'll get back to the topic, for are going to say autism and struggles. Okay, so going way, way, way back. Also, that's another thing, is will I go off on tangents, which is a, which is another Simon Whistler-esque thing to do, isn't it? To go on massive, raging tangents, which I don't mind, as I don't mind listening to tangents. I'm like, like, I'm a listener as well. Like, that, so that's probably a little because, like, I don't know, I just... I'm thoroughly happy to be shut up and just let someone else talk. Then again, that's a little bit hypocritical because, like, if I'm like, if like, ah, oh, then again, if it's if it's a topic that I'm really into, is like, I will just keep going. I really do. Um, oh, my trains and stuff. Yeah, 
But um, yeah, it's not really. Uh, I don't know. So I don't know how long this is gonna go for. I don't. Uh, I don't well, as long as well, as long as it takes me to get this this block of metal to fit into here, which is going to be a bit tricky because there's some other bits of plastic that are kind of like down at the bottom, which is kind of tricky to get to. Um, oh well. Um, That's it. Um, let's do that YouTube plug now. So yeah, if you like, yeah. So um, I don't know if you like what you're listening to right now with me talking about autism. Um, basically, like just I don't know things about me while I do model train and also model car stuff at the same time. Be like, yeah, if you want, yeah, like drop a like and do a comment. Click the subscribe button, I suppose, if you really feel like it. Um, yeah, all that YouTube jazz, I guess. Not that the vid I mean, the video is not done. I'm still probably going to be going yapping on about random stuff. Um, although, like I said, I should get back to the bloody topic, shouldn't I? Um, and this blade won't fit. Uh, let's read sheet and pull it out extra, which probably isn't going to do anything, but let's try that. <sighs> um, yeah, so... Okay, so let's go all the way back to the start, which is being extroverted, but also having autism. Um, yes, it's like, it's such a difficult thing again, because it's like, I want to be with people. I want, like, I love, like, to do, it's really nice to be with people. And I, and I do feel like, like, if I go for a week and I have, and I, and I don't go and see anyone, don't catch any, don't catch up with anyone, it's like, I feel... Yeah, like, I feel, you know, you feel really drained, which is awful, and I hate being drained, because it's like, I don't have the, I don't have the mental, bleh, I don't have the mental capacity to be drained. It's such a pain. Let's go in there. Um, yeah, it's like, I don't, I don't want to be drained, it's like, I like being energy full. Energy full, that's a word, that is, pop, throw that in the dictionary, Oxford, or Miriam Webster, or... What band dictionary do we have? Collins, that's a dictionary. Oh, penguin. Penguins do dictionaries. I have no idea. I'm just looking at the corner. Um, <laughs> the desk. I'm oh, sorry, corner. Bookshelf thing. They have a bookshelf. That's fancy. Also, old fashioned as hell. I am old fashioned as hell. It's like, I don't like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like. It's sort of weird. Like I am, like I am this like weird in between. Of, like I was, oh, like I'm, yeah, born nineteen ninety eight, which is like this very weird in between of like old stuff, old technology, which of course you can tell because I like trains and cars and stuff. But also the cool modern stuff because I have like a full computer and everything. Oh, probably a game computer and stuff. And a mobile phone, even though I don't really need 90% of what the phone actually has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, it's so sweet. Sorry. Just thinking what the point of this was, but like, you know, I'll keep going, I'll finish it off. <laughs> just, uh... No, what am I doing? What am I talking about? Sorry, let's get back to the topic, shall we? Please? Um, but yes, it's, yes, it's pretty, um, I think that might be about right, I think, perhaps, um, but yeah, like, being introverted and extroverted, it's, I mean, sorry, being extroverted 
and having autism, yeah, it's kind of difficult. Like this, I don't know, but like, but like I said, it, oh, for me, like it only is a problem really with. Um, oh, I think that should be enough. I think. Yeah, it's really, it's really only an issue with completely new people. I would say, yeah, because um, I know, yeah, because I mean, yeah, because it's like uh, something that my mate got me into. It's like this little art club thing, which is really lovely. Shout out to all the art club people. You are lovely, 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 amazing people. I'm so happy to like, be a part of it, which is really nice. Um, but, like, yeah. So one of my mates, his name is Edward. He's a lovely bloke. Um, Edward, if you're watching this. Hello, um, <laughs> how you doing? Um, so yeah, Edward, he's like, yeah, he's in, yeah, there, there. I'll maybe do a thing about Edward later on. Maybe with Edward, who knows? YouTube, what's the word? Um, Code Labs, YouTube Code Labs. I don't know, no, he's not actually on YouTube. He was in a YouTube video once, like, with another, with another guy. Because, like, Edward was, like, his expert on this thing. On, like something electronics, ele blah, blah, electronics, anim animatronics, and also making VR games. He is really good at as well. Um, so, so back to the point. Edward uh, got me into this art club, and so yeah, so like the first time, yeah, the like got me into this art club. And the very first um, one is like I was kind of yeah, I was kind of nervous because yeah, like I guess again, a bunch of new people. It's like when. You only know one of them as you're kind of like freaking the hell out. And I, I know, and to be honest, I did that. Like every session, I did, I did like ha hang around like next to him to like be like, please protect me, please protect me. I, I please protect me <laughs> from all these people. Um, but no, but, and then, and then like on the very first one, is like, I think for whatever, he had to like go home early. Oh, yeah, he had to go home early. And then I was like, what? Don't leave me. <laughs> Uh, which is a bit, which is a bit mean, but there's a, no, I ended up staying and I ended up having dinner with all the art club people and, like, and again, they're lovely. And one of them even actually let me borrow a jumper because I only had shorts and pants. Sorry, I only had shorts and a shirt on. And it was kind of cold because, yeah, we stayed out there until like 9.30. And I didn't have a jumper with me. So yeah, one of them, yeah. Um, one of them let me borrow a jumper, which is lovely for that little bit, which is quite nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, they're all about, and uh, yeah, like I kept going to those, like on fr yeah, like once a week on a Friday, and it's like really lovely, and they're really lovely, 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 lovely people. And it's like yeah, it's like you know, it's like that, it's it's, it's that hurdle, that first hurdle, which is like kind of difficult that you got to get through, which you don't want to do. You really don't want to do, but it's like, but at the same time, it's like for, yeah, like being extroverted but autistic is like it's such a conflict. It's such a massive conflict. But eventually, but eventually, the extroversion wins out over that. And then, yeah, and then at the end of it, it's like really nice because yeah, you then get a bunch of new friends, which is really really nice. Oh, which is so good. Um, yeah. yeah. This might be done just about now, so I think I will probably wrap this up here. I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty. I think, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to wait just in the back there because this model, because this Thomas model weighs absolutely nothing, which is pathetic. Given how like expensive these are, like brand new nowadays, and the fact that you know you can buy like diecast metal Thomas toys for actually, yeah, heck, that's a thought. I've, I've let's have a look. See, hang on, Thomas can play. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Did they? I have no idea if they even sell them anymore. Um, oh, four bucks. Four dollars. Is this it? Metal. Yeah. Oh my god. They can sell like a Thomas toy. I mean, of course, like Tom, like these Thomas toys, they're like half the size, of course, but like half the size of this. But still, like, still sell a thing made of metal for what is this? Five bucks. Five bucks. Oh my god. And like, 
the company that makes this is like they're so cheap they can't make ah oh, they made the it's so expensive but like this is a 20 year old bloody tool and yeah this is and yeah this model this bit is 15 years old and this is exactly the same this one oh and it's so frustrating i hate you model train company that does this making ah uh, and it's not worth it because like yeah because like um Oh gosh, like way back 15 years ago when I first bought this, I remember that I bought this for $70. But like, a new one is well over double that nowadays. It's like, why? And it's exactly the same! It's n nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. It's exactly the same thing, but like it's double the price of what it was. And it's like, and like no, it's not an inflation thing. No, inflation would have only been like another 10, 15 bucks. This is not worth... This is not worth, like, brand new, this Thomas model is not worth a hundred bucks. It is so not, because, again, all of it's made of plastic, and I've had to, like, make all these, like, specific, like, little weights and bits of metal to put inside it to bring the weight up, because it's pathetic. I mean, the mode is decent, but, like, it's, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a smooth motor, but not necessarily a reliable one, but, yeah. But, yeah, it's like, uh, it's a stupid amount of money, like this. Yeah, sorry, that's infiltrating, but I, where was I again? Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, who knows, yeah, so if, yeah, if you like to listen to this, if you, you know, if, yeah, if you're also autistic, but also extroverted, you know, or maybe if you don't know, think, you know, like, try and do some things. It's like... Try and do some experience with like other people without other people. So just try and figure out okay, if you get energy from other people or if they if other people drain you, right? Figure that out. That's that's the main thing I want to say about what I'm talking about. This now it's like you, you got to figure out who you are, and it's gonna be a bit, it'll be a bit of a struggle to do that, but. In the end, like, if you know who you are, you can, like, work with that. You can, okay, you make little adjustments and stuff. And then, yeah, and then you can make your life... Sorry, excuse that pill bottle, it's empty. But <laughs> it's, it's just like a Panadol type thing. There. I don't know what Panadol is, that's an Australian thing, probably. Um, but yeah, it's like, yeah, you gotta, you got to figure out who you are, right? That's the number one thing. Know who you are. And then a lot of other stuff through the rest of your life will come easy. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, alrighty then. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and what have you. Um, and you know, yeah, it's like, you know, I'll check a video of Thomas up running around my little layout a bit later for you as well. Okay. See you guys. Bye.